Okay, so Our America with Lisa Ling, 3 a.m. girls, one year later. I never saw the first one, so, but she did a little, re, um, spoke a little bit about the first one that they did about a year ago, and I just got to say this is another really disturbing <laughs> topic that Lisa Ling is diving into. Um, the young girl, Ashley, who was put to work as a prostitute at a very young age by her female cousin was, I'm sure, one of just thousands and thousands, uh, tens of thousands probably in this country that, that um, not necessarily by their female cousin, but uh, at a, as a teenager, are put to work as a prostitute. And why they do it uh, is, is even sadder, right? I guess I'm naive to think why are the, it's possible that there's that many children, neglected children, that are willing to run away or go into the arms of a prostitute, I mean of a pimp. Um, but I have a question specifically about her female cousin who pimped her out. Uh, is the cousin just flat out sick and twisted? Or is what she was doing a result of, uh, to do with poverty and few opportunities? Or was it both? Um, Tina Funt, Front, I believe is how you pronounce it, and the other woman, Andrea, um, let's see, for Courtney's House and I can't remember the other one, Something Girls, really should be receiving tons of money from corporations to, um, to be able to go out there and, take, and save these girls and expose these pimps. But, you know, people want to have sex with young girls, so what are you going to do, right? Um, oh, right, and then when, when Ling was driving around with Tina front, uh, you know, looking to see what was going on, and, and um, they saw that young girl, that teenager, who I guess was about 16, well, no, they said she was 12, um, but then, then Tina said, uh, you know, the police are not responding very fast, so my question is, the police are not responding fast enough to a runaway 16-year-old black girl who maybe... Um, being held against her will by a, sef tra the, by a sex trafficker? What is more important than children at risk? Is it because perhaps she's black and she's therefore not as important as if it was a white girl or even better yet, a, a wealthy white girl? Is that what's happening here? Uh, I guess the police eventually did get to it, but um, it wasn't quite the priority that it should have been. And I never heard the term gorilla pimp. Have you heard that before? Uh, according to Andrea, a gorilla pimp kidnaps girls and is very violent with them. Never heard of that, but uh, it makes sense. Uh, and also, Ashley's story it was so crazy. I mean, it was so inspirational, you know, considering where she came from. Uh, and that now she's in college working towards becoming a social worker. Um, and she is the exact type of young woman who, who can make a huge difference, right? If she doesn't give up, if she finishes college, if she goes out there and either starts her own organization, joins another one, becomes a social worker, she can make a huge difference. And people like her, there need to be more people like her. What was that like for her, by the way, to go from being a prostitute to uh, having her own house? I mean, having her own room in a nice house with a nice family. Crazy. So to wrap this all up, this horrible, horrible topic, I um, just want to say, once again, men are the ones willing to have sex with underage girls. Uh, and most, the overwhelming majority of the pimps are men as well. So what is deficient inside of so many men? Is it the fact that they do not bring life into the world, right? That we do not bring life into this world. Pimps prey on young women from disadvantaged backgrounds, which... Well, it proves to be easy with a few nice words. So so what is it, guys? What's up with men? Why are, why are we doing this to women? Is it just because we can? You don't have any morals, scruples? You had a shitty childhood? What is it? 